Happy Saturday. Thanks for joining us here on Valley News Live at 10 o'clock. A live look at our Grand Forks Home of Economy Sky Cam. Shows a bit of a breeze there on those flags there in the parking lot, but by and large things are quiet out there uh, as we wrap up our Saturday evening. In Fargo, that current temperature 43 degrees, but when you factor in that breeze we're seeing in Grand Forks, feels like 39 degrees on that wind chill uh, measurement. Uh, Moorhead, two degrees warmer. 45 degrees. I'm also looking very closely at this dew point. 32 degrees is that dew point. So usually with a calm, clear night like this, we do see that air temperature fall to near that dew point. So I am fully expecting some 30s for us overnight, but I'm hoping for those folks that still have some plants out there uh, that we won't get too close to that 32 degrees, at least here in Fargo. But some areas, especially up toward the north and uh, in portions of Minnesota, may see temperatures down near 32 degrees tonight. Currently seeing 40s for most of us with 39 in Wadena, 37 in Langdon, a couple of the cooler spots, 41 in Jamestown Valley City, 44 there for our friends in Grand Forks. Warmest air right now up toward Roseau, Bidette, middle to upper 40s there in portions of far northern Minnesota. Seeing mostly clear skies on the satellite and radar, so nothing too concerning for us for our Saturday evening plans. Now, here's how things look for the overnight. We stay quiet and calm, and of course temperatures, as we said, cooling into those 30s. Now, I don't expect it to be as cold tonight as it was this morning, but you still want to take those precautions for those plants if they're still outside, or of course leave those hoses un, uh, uh, unscrewed from your house, because still expecting some frosty conditions across the board there, with most of us waking up to middle to upper 30s. But then sunshine, a south wind, helps us warm to the 50s to near 60 by lunchtime. Plenty of sunshine, that south wind will be around 10 miles per hour or so, so nothing too concerning for our Sunday either. So outdoor plans for your Sunday afternoon noon look very nice, 60s, maybe some low 70s in the hot spots for our a Sunday afternoon. You can notice those arrows. That's that wind out of the south helping to warm those temperatures into the 60s. I do expect the mildest or the uh, coolest conditions, I should say, to be in northern Minnesota with low to mid 60s for those high temperatures there. Look how quickly things warm up in Fargo from those middle 30s around 8 a.m. South wind sunshine warms us up to near, we'll say middle 50s by lunchtime in Fargo and of course plenty of sunshine. <coughs> Excuse me. Plenty of sunshine means 60s there for the afternoon and we do cool off quickly though as we head toward uh, sunset tomorrow night but the w south wind should keep us again a bit milder tomorrow night even than tonight will be. Your hometown forecast shows that cooler air across portions of northern Minnesota and a chance. I'm saying there's a chance of seeing some 70 degree temperatures in our southern neighborhoods and in portions of southeastern North Dakota as well. Our beautiful photo of the day, fall skies. Corey shared this one with us. Thank you, Corey, for uploading this one to our website. Now, for Monday, I'm saying there's even a better chance of seeing 70 degrees right here in Fargo. Breezy conditions Monday and Tuesday. Notice how temperatures really cool down Tuesday. Around 60 for those highs on Tuesday, then lower 50s for Wednesday. That system on Wednesday, we're watching very closely. See how it's windy there. South, we could see some showers. This is our European model showing the middle part of next week. Some rain showers possible in our far southern neighborhoods, maybe even some snow in South Dakota. Of course, we're watching this system very carefully because we could see some rain showers for more of us on Wednesday, depending on the track of that system. All right, well, I'll knock on wood. We've been having a very good October so a good far. Good October so far. Temperature's not too bad either. Yeah, no, not at all. Yeah. All right.